Hi there. Well, today we're going to be having a look at a brand new leak detection sensor from SwitchBot. So as with a lot of the SwitchBot devices, this leak detector has some really unique features. So let's have a look. Now this device either comes out in a standard edition of just the sensor or a cable edition, which allows you to place the actual sensor away from the device itself. For example, where you may want to use it for a water level detection. Now there's no hub required because it does communicate either directly via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Um, it also sends alerts back to the SwitchBot system and offers a two-year battery life on two AAAs as well as being IP67 waterproof. If we scroll down here and have a look at some of the other features, it is actually waterproof. The whole device itself can be dropped in up to a meter of water for up to 30 minutes. So having a look at what we get inside the box, We've got our user manual. We've got some other little pieces of paper. We've got this little puck, which is actually used to open the device. And inside this little plastic packet, we've got the device itself. So there we go. It's a really nice looking device, nice hard plastic with a smooth outside. Now, it's got here something that I wanna show you, which is one of the first unique features here. And this is that it has these two sensors at the top, as well as having two sensors at the back of the device. Now, the benefit of the ones at the top is that you can actually place this under an area where you are expecting drips, and there's a little depression inside there that will actually allow the water to build up and read if there's a drop of liquid. It has this little button for pairing and for testing and it's got a really loud speaker. On so this. in order to open the device, we take this little spudger opening tool, press it in there and use that to open the device. So the two AAAs are supplied with the device. They fit nice and snugly in there and then we can clip our cover on the back here and you can see it gives us a little bit of a beep and then we do a press for two seconds and that will put it into the pairing mode there you can see it. so now we open up our switchbot app we go add device using the plus and then we go along and we select water detector we've pressed our button in for two seconds and it will now start searching give a little bit of time and it will then ask you for your Wi-Fi code. Testing this device shows that if you place it over some water, it's pretty sensitive. And we also have the ability that even if just a drop of water were to fall on that little bit over there, it would set it off. So having a look in the SwitchBot app, we've got a couple of logs showing us when it is last triggered. We've got our modes, so it can either be in the leak mode, detecting a leak, or in a dry alert. So if, for example, the cable is dry and you were wanting to know that water had drained out of your fish tank, you can select your, select your alerts over here. So you can select how long it will alarm for, the alarm interval, and then the alarm volume. And it is pretty loud. You certainly wouldn't not recognize this noise. And then you can create automations within the SwitchBot app, which will actually do certain things when you're away to actually trigger other things to go on inside the SwitchBot app. Now, I did try and integrate this into Home Assistant by selecting the SwitchBot and actually going in here and searching for the Bluetooth. Unfortunately, nothing came up. So I'm assuming because this is a new device, it hasn't been integrated into the Home Assistant SwitchBot integration yet. Anyway, that's all for now. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.